Okay, so hi, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's me again, Anne, from another vlog. So this is a special video, and in Taiwan segment. <laughs> so for today's video, I'll be helping you after you got here in Taiwan. Pag nakarating na kayo dito, naka-arrive na kayo dito in Taiwan, all you have to do is to uh, apply for an ARC or yung residency, alien residency. Certificate po. Yung ID po natin, pinaka-residency ID po natin dito para makastay tayo dito for one year, two years, three years, and more. So, how does a foreigner renew or apply for an ARC? So, it is based on serial number 0902. Okay, as you can see, <clears throat> these are the legal basis. Pinagbasehan nila. And to whom applicable? So, any foreign national with valid passport or travel document containing a valid resident visa who after passing entry inspection of National Immigration Agency pag nakalampas ka na sa immigration <laughs> at naninirahan na ngayon sa Taiwan. Ayan. And so, nakalagay din dito na uh, may purpose tayo, residency, because of this employment. Kasi magkatrabaho tayo dito sa Taiwan. And so, a foreign national who before the expiration of him. Ayan. So, gusto niya mag-extend ng residency dito. Ayan, pwede din ito gamitin. And, dahil nga ituturo ko sa inyo, application for an ARC. So, ayun, hindi na yan applicable. Kapag nawala or na-damage lang yan, pwede mo din tong gamitin to application na to. Anyways, um, it can be for the first-time applicants, yes. Kailangan mo po ng original passport with residence visa po na nakalagay na galing po sa TECO, yung resident visa po natin. And documentary proof of reason of residency application it can be from MOL ko ikaw ay assistant teacher MOE ko ikaw ay main teacher tapos authenticated dapat siya ng ROC or Taiwan ayon so for solely for employment po tayo kailangan meron tayong letter of approval issued by competent authority of industry concerned in an in service certificate issued within 1 month Tapos, dapat talaga, um, I think, before 15 days, iba nakarating tayo dito, dapat, before 15 days na doon, mamalagi tayo dito, pag, pagdating na pagdating natin, tinabukasan, or kung Sabado kayo nabukasan, Monday agad, punta agad kayo sa pinakamalapit na, uh, ang tawag dito, pinakamalapit na, yun nga, uh, applyan ng ARC. Yun, kailangan din po natin ng one-color photograph with same specification as for national ID card. So, yung national ID po natin, application for displacement, o oh, ito wala na to, hindi to kasama, kasi application lang tayo. Letter of authorization, kapag nagpagawa lang kayo sa iba, SVA, wag na. Proof of current, ito, ito yung proof na dapat meron na tayong tinutuluyan. Dapat meron na tayong, um, apartment. So, dapat may kontrata na, na kulay yellow. Yung akin kulay yellow, na para mini book siya. Kontrata na nakalagay doon hanggang kailan ako. Uh, baka ning upa, may permanent nun. Tapos, kailangan mo mag-ready ng 1,000. Yung akin kasi, ang validity lang niya, 1 year. Kasi kada kontrata dito sa TFETP is 9 months. So, ang applicable sa akin is 1 year. So, 1,000 lang yung binayaran ko. And pwede mo siyang i-reimburse sa school kasi kasama siya sa reimbursement. And yung processing time niya is 10 days. Depende na lang kung may Saturday, Sunday. Kasi, oo, yung akin, half month. So, 10 days siya. 10 working days. Tapos, ito yung application form, PDF. Pag inopen nyo siya, ganito yung itsura niya. Yan. Ito yung application for ARC. 
and extension of stay. So, kaya na kailangan i- i-fill out nyo po yan. Magpatulong po kayo kasi may mga Chinese dyan na hindi maintindihan. Pero, as all you as you all know, pwede tayong gumamit ng translator. Translate application na kapag pinicturean mo, magta-translate siya in English. Soon, eh, share ko sa inyo yung mga application na nakatulong sa akin dito sa Taiwan para makatagal ako dito. <laughs> Chara. Ayan. So, ayan yung pinaka-application. Ilagay ko na lang sa comment section yung uh, link nito para madami yung makakita. Anyways, if you have any question about my video or if you have any suggestions or if you want to thank me, you can comment down below and see you again on my next vlog. Bye! See you teachers here in Taiwan!